first question is, who pays for this office? I mean, if you're getting $5 a month from broke people like me, who pays for this place where people come to? Well, we do rent the office space from another company. So we pay the company called Flava Puff, which are two men that went into business um, over a development called Cotton Candy that they named Flava Puff. So we rent the office space from them. Oh, and they give you a good price? They give me a really good deal. Okay. Yes. I want to know why you got involved. Was there a moment in your life, like my political awakening was when I heard someone was running for president who was left of Hillary. And I was like, left of Hillary? She's a socialist. What would that be? That would be communist. And then I did research. I was horrified and got involved for the first time in my life. What was the moment when you had a light bulb or something and you snapped and you jumped in to politics? Well, there was probably about two or three moments, but I can say it started when I was watching Glenn Beck. And in April of 2009, I became a 912 person. I realized watching those nine principles and 12 values that matter to our nation were something I realized we were losing. And those were really good values. And then I started to watch the riots in Greece and the kids rebelling and asking the simple question, why did my parents and grandparents let this happen? And I didn't want to be part of that generation that let down the next one. So those are two very important reasons as to why I decided to get involved. Yes, me too. Glenn Beck was a big influence on me. Um, tell me what the most exciting part of running, first of all, you're running against Wasserman Schultz, and we have got to get rid of her, okay? So I think uh, th that you're going to have an easy uh, campaign because we all want to get rid of her. She's, I think, a communist. And so, um, so I want to ask you, um, what is the most exciting part of running for the Congress? The most exciting thing for me is meeting the people. I didn't know how much I was going to fall in love with my country again, recognizing that there were people out there that thought just like me. So knocking on those doors, especially with the elderly, and all that they really care about is leaving a country that's debt free to the next generation. So the best part about campaigning is the people. Yeah, I remember when I first met you at Doug Giles Church, and I said, don't you get tired of talking and talking and talking and saying, and you said, no, I get energized by it. And I thought that was the coolest answer. 